Hey everyone, Peter Drew here, video tutorial for Google Site Creator Software version 1.7 on Friday the 16th of June 2017. Okay, so I'm just going to go over an existing project. Here you can delete the project and add another if you like. Click next. So here we've got a new button where you can continue the project and you would do that if the software crashed or you lost your internet connection halfway through a project. The software will continue where it left off and continue on. Or what I do mo most of the time is choose repeat project. Now why would I want to repeat a project? If I, once the sites are created doing a project and I get great listings in Google, if I want additional listings instead of getting just number one, if I do the project again, I can get number two as well, and three, four, etc. So it's so I like to do the same project a few times and get more of the first page of Google. So I'm going to repeat a project and click next. Here is where you put your keywords. So here's where we put the keywords. We do eight at a time per account. If you are loading up more than one Google account, it's eight keywords per Google account you load up in the software. So click next. Here is your article. In this section of the software, you copy and paste your article into this window and then click make spin tax and then that will automatically add all spin tax for you. In the protected field, in this example, we're doing an SEO project, so I put in SEO search engine optimize etc all the words that I don't want spun I put up there and then they will be protected and and spin text will not alter them so and then you click on test spin text and this gives you all the variations and if there's any errors in there they will show up so you amend the content until it's working perfectly in the software like this. I suggest using between 300 and 500 words in your article. Here you can add your own HTML and this will be displayed at the bottom of the web page that is created. Here you can, you can put free counters if you like. I've just got a hyperlink back to one of my sites. This is a great place to put links back to uh, any site you're promote, promoting or videos, etc. In fact, it's really flexible. You can put anything you like in there. If, you, if you're going hard, put, hardcore and putting a lot of different HTML in there, create one site first and see how it displays on sites.google.com. And once you're sure that it's uh, displaying correctly, then go through and do your entire project. Then click Next. Now on this page there's a couple of options. First of all, this is where you add your Google accounts. So you enter the Gmail, the email address and the password and click add to add a new account. If you right click, you can de delete selected accounts. Now also, you can either choose to create pages on one site per keyword or you can create one site per keyword. If you're only doing eight keywords, you would only need to send over one Gmail account. If you're doing 16, you would need to send over two. And the software will automatically, after eight keywords, select the next Google account. Pretty simple. So here, so I'm going to create pages. I will create, I'll just select the Google account. I want those pages created on. It will create one site and then one, seven, pages click next on this window this is where you select your thumbnails so if you select a folder with one thumbnail thumbnail in it it will use that image for each site or page that's created if you have one like this it will choose one of those images in that folder randomly each time it creates a page or a site 
This is the location of the Google Map that is presented on your site or page. Here you put your main link to the website you're promoting. And now here we have the YouTube video URLs. If you just put one in there, it will put the embed of that YouTube video on each page or site that's created. If you put more, the software will choose one of these randomly each time it creates a page or a site. It's that simple. And that's all there is to it. You click on start, it opens up a preview window. And then what the first thing it does is it logs in to sites.google.com and creates the first site. It's important when you're creating pages on a site, it will only need to solve a capture once. These Google captures we solve automatically for you, though sometimes if there's an error, it will do it again and again until it gets it right. Typically, it takes two to four minutes for that to happen, but if there's an error, it will take another two to four minutes. Don't worry, just let it go. It will eventually solve it, and then once, when you're creating pages, once the capture's been solved, it creates each individual page without needing to solve a capture. When you're creating sites per keyword, it needs to solve a capture each time it creates a new site, so it does take longer. So there you go, that concludes this video tutorial. If you have any questions, post your questions below this in the thread that is supplied, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Otherwise, go to support.hangitmillionaire.com for any support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.